using a homemade anemometer. Day one. Out, folks. Yes. That's not backwards. That's the right way. So we're outside room 156 doing our weather observation. And our first step is looking for cloud cover and type. So all of you should be looking up cloud cover and type. It looks like there's a And it looks like there is it looks not like there's a haze over there in the sky. But Ethan thinks that we have a haze over here, so we're gonna take a walk right. over. There. And it does look a little hazy. You can just say, can someone unlock the door? Can someone unlock room 156 for us, please? Maddie, you're my my volunteer. You're gonna hold the card. <laughs> yep. Perpendicular to your body. Completely perpendicular to your body. Ashley, may I see your card for a minute? Yeah. Okay. Are you with me? You're holding the card so it's perpendicular to your body, but you have to pinch it at the top edge so, <laughs> or not drop it and not drop it so that um, you don't interfere with the wind moving it. So you need it like this and you need to make sure that in the start position you're at the 90 and then when you feel breeze, you're going to measure how far the ping pong ball moves on the scale, but you have to keep it very, very still and very straight to get an accurate reading. And today, fortunately, there's not actually a whole lot of our So we're not actually doing any wind reading today. We are just playing with it and getting used to using it and seeing if we know how to use it. And let's head back inside without destroying our anemometer. We're going to go in through the door over here. Bits kids, go and walk about. We got locked out. So we're going this way. And as you can see, what stung you? You're kidding. It is fire prevention week, so we have the presentation under the tent. And then down in the parking lot is the fire truck, but I'm pretty sure that's for the littles. I'm really truly hoping that they do not make sixth graders go sit in a fire truck, but who knows? And then the most difficult part is wrestling with our model and trying to revise our scientific thinking and put it in a way that others would understand what we've learned about global weather patterns. And it looks like some groups have some really clear ideas of how they're going to transfer their big ideas. Wait, there was no, not. Not. Wait, there was no,